When she walks into the world every day, she comes from God. And when she walked out of this world, she went to God. A lifelong Christian who anchored her life on the Lord she came to know, began her day with prayer and ended her day with prayer. Her phenomenal achievements and the success of all her endeavors, despite the many challenges she faced, rested on her unflinching reliance on the Divine. On 7th May 1929, Sivagami Dasanayake was born in Nathandia to Clifton Dasanayake and Emmy Bell Correa. The Correas were a prominent family from Shilau. Amy Bell Correa was an old girl from Ladies College and a gifted pianist who often accompanied the choir. Siva's great-grandmother was the wealthy aristocratic lady from Sabargamur, Idda Malgoda Kumari Hami. Having a father from a Buddhist background and a mother from a Christian background, Siva grew up tolerant of all religions. Siva's grandmother Eugenie Artigala Correa had a tremendous impact on her and her sister Srimani. Siva's oratorical skills and enormous self-confidence was inculcated from her grandmother. At the age of 10, Siva entered the hostel. Her mother handed her over to the principal, Gwen Opi, who cared for Siva and her sister throughout her tenure. Siva enjoyed her stay in the hostel. She was dorm prefect, hostel prefect, games captain, and Los House Captain. Siva was born to lead. A fellow hosteler recollects, she would make me make my bed every day, often standing in her characteristic pose, hands on her hips, till I got it perfect. She made a woman of me. Siva immersed herself in all school activities, whether it was acting in the Kala Ulela, or playing tennis? The school always came first. Siva loved sports and she was games captain at Uplands in Kandy for three years and in Colombo for three years and she won both netball and tennis colours. With the staff she took the responsibility of organising all sports activities including the sports meets. One of the most vivid memories her friends have of their school days was the winning of the Westrop Shield, which was won by Ladies College two years in a row. They still remember Siva shooting those winning goals. Miss Simon even declared a holiday in celebration of the victory over Bishop's College. Siva's life changed the day she was seen at a tennis match by James Obesekara himself an old boy of Ladies College, who had just returned to Ceylon in 1946, piloting his own aircraft, an Oster, creating aviation history. Straight after flying for the British in World War II, James, the son of the last Mahmud Lea of Ceylon, Sir James Obesekara and Lady Estelle Obesekara, returned to Ceylon. However, Miss Simon would not let Siva marry James until she had finished captaining the Ladies' College netball team to victory in the Westrop Shield. In the morning, she was in school uniform. In the evening, she was a bride in the school chapel. The whole school was present for the wedding. The organist was Maureen Seniviratna, her friend who played centre in the netball team. Ladies' College was everything to Siva. Most of the buildings in the school had some association with her. James and Siva lived in front of the race course. Siva graced the races with style and simplicity. After marriage to James, Siva plunged into politics. A founder member of the SLFP, she started addressing political meetings. A good orator in Sinhala and English, 
people came from near and far to listen to her. Even the rain did not deter people from listening to her. She became MP for Mirigama in 1965 at the age of 36 and sat in the opposition for 5 years. In the next parliament she was appointed at first deputy minister and then minister of health. Siva helped to develop the preventive medicine sector which had been a low profile subject up to that time. It is impossible to enumerate the number of programs Siva pushed through. The three poshya program assisted by that other indefatigable ladies college past pupil Dr. Brighty Dibel is one for which the mothers and kids will forever rise up and call them blessed. The multidisciplinary approach Siva adopted through a multi-ministerial committee to carry through her family health programs won for Sri Lanka the first UNFPA grant of US dollars 6 million awarded to a developing country. In 1976, the UN acclaimed Sri Lanka's family health program as a model for the world. 1977 saw Siva elected as Vice President for Asia at the WHO conference in Geneva. She was the first lady speaker of the parliament in the Commonwealth. The other role in which Siva played a major part was in the revival of crafts in Sri Lanka. At the bottom of the scale were the neglected crafts people whose skills were dying out for lack of governmental support and national recognition. And because they did not earn a fair price for their products. In 1964 was born Laksala, Siva Obesekara's brainchild. Her guru in India was Mrs Kamala Devi Chattopadhyay whose guidance was followed in reviving the handicrafts and handlooms industries of Sri Lanka. Next, she opened Lakpahana in 1973. Siva's work in the political arenas cannot be overshadowed by her work in voluntary organizations. From the CNAPT to the Cancer Society to the School of the Deaf and Blind, the Sri Lanka Scouts Association, the mentally disabled, and running a home for the aged as well as an orphanage in rural Vatupitiwala. They have all benefited from her organizing and fundraising capabilities. Being the first woman Deshamania is a singular honor to Siva and to Ladies College. The confidence with which she addressed an assembly of 5000 delegates at a UN conference in Romania and 3000 delegates at a WHO meeting in Geneva was gained in the school of life beginning with Ladies College. She also received India's highest award for handicraft development, Kamala Samman, the only foreigner to receive it. Her fame for fair organization was legendary. She helped St Thomas's College and St Thomas's Prep 2 and in appreciation of the millions she collected on their behalf Right Reverend Cyril Abinaika had her picture hung in the Hall of Fame among other eminent Thomians In spite of her important and onerous duties she still found time for her college organizing ladies college fairs On Prize Day 1984 Mrs. Saransi Gunawardana principal presented Siva with a gold brooch bearing the college crest for her services rendered to the school the only past pupil to receive such a prestigious award to date from being world craft council president to receiving foreign dignitaries at Lakpana to participating at the Crafts Dog Show at the UK 
or dancing the baila or the tango, she was essentially a family person. She celebrated her 50th wedding anniversary with James. She was happiest spending time with her family and her lord, to whom she used to talk as to a friend. And now the family is left to express heartfelt gratitude to God, the God of love, saying, Thank you, Lord, for Christ in her, the hope of glory. While everyone else takes comfort in the sure-footedness that she now rests in peace until the day of the Lord, when she will rise in glory to enjoy the bliss of eternal life.